first thing that I noticed were the smiles on the kids' faces. They were very excited and very interested about coming to school. We do a lot of group work, and the group work I love because it lets us interact with each other. Not only are you seeing your point of view, but you're seeing their point of view, and then you can look at it differently. We test everything out, and we have data tables, and we're always making graphs from the labs that we've had made. Active physics was clearly different, and that was what we were hoping to have, is something that had that project-based approach to it. Hands-on investigations where the kids are in control of what they're doing. There's that guidance so they don't go off track too much, but they're able to have that flexibility and freedom to go through their own individual activity as opposed to sitting at a desk, less engaged, writing the notes. They're up doing the things and making the connections themselves as they go. Students are starting to ask their own questions. What if we did this? We want kids exploring project-based learning. We want kids getting involved in the application of 21st century skills, and this curriculum gave us easy access to that. I don't want to be a teacher that stands up and lectures all day. I thoroughly enjoy working hands-on with the kids. When they work together, which is of course a huge 21st century skill, that puts many skills and does many things at once, so it's very efficient. I love it. The tie-in that we've been able to use with active physics to math and to our engineering classes has just been unbelievably successful. You're also going to come across a term called a normal, which you may have come across in math. They don't say in their math class, why do I have to learn this math? Because they're utilizing it in their physics class. It's been really helpful, I think, having the physics teacher and the math teacher work together this year because in, right off term one, we found many similarities between our content. And so as soon as we made that connection, everything just started making more sense to the students as we started to show them that when you're calculating acceleration, what you're really doing is you're calculating the slope. The right. angle on your incident that you did and you reflected. Yeah. We received a lot of feedback from parents that in many regards, their child's perspective on what education was going to be for the next four years was changing. And it was becoming more positive every day that they spent with those teachers in, in this curriculum. Students that are graduating this year, in four years if they go to college and they're going to come out to a job, there's a really good chance that that job hasn't been invented yet. So it really comes down to those skills. And it's the skills that students gain by doing various types of project or hands-on type of work where they're asking questions and know how to go about solving the problem. We want kids that realize that if people believe in them and give them the challenges and support them properly, that there's, there's definite success in the future for them.